25 watt build of the Kelly here. I just want to point out a couple of things that I think might be of interest uh, to anyone who's contemplating building with one of my boards here, or maybe that you already have and you, you want to make some changes. But just these boards, right? I've mentioned this before on the first build basics video that I did. Um, you can pretty much build any kind of wattage um, with these, right? So you know, 25, 50, 100, right? It's the Kelly board and many of the other boards that I have are set up for fixed bias, right? I do have one board um, that'll do cathode bias, that's the mini, but yeah, these are fixed bias. So any kind of fixed bias uh, power amp configuration you can do in here, right? So I wanna point out three things. First one is in the rectifier section here, right? See, um, the way that these are set up on all my boards is that um, you can wire these in two phase or full bridge mode, okay? And again, in the second Build Basics video I did where I talked about power transformers, I go into that in depth, right? This power transformer that we're using in this amp is um, a power transformer for a train wreck clone, right? So it's actually got a train wreck. Um, transformer set in it, right? Which I've set up, um, per works perfectly for 25 volts. I'll, uh, 25 watts, I'll go through the voltage readings in a minute, right? And you'll see how this is set up. But it's a 6K6 primary on the output transformer. And we are using a pair of the JJ6V6Ss, right? Which are fantastic little um, 6V6 tubes. Uh, and you know, I've used them in a bunch of amps and yeah, they're, I reckon they're fantastic, right? So this is why this power transformer is um, center tapped. Okay, so we've got the center tap going to chassis ground and the two outer secondaries are coming in here, right? Um, if you're doing this in full bridge mode, you, you bring them into the center here and then you ground the bottom of the diodes, right? So we're not doing that. These two pads here are the high voltage secondaries coming in here. So these dies are just in series, right? You kind of got, you know, two in series. So if one fails, you know, the one, you've still got one there as, as a backup, right? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I want to talk about what's going on here, right? So normally we have our um, uh, a full bridge uh, inline rectifier here and a heatsink, right? And this is normally set up um, in the in the Kelly's that I've done, and all my boards again, with the exception of the mini, has this kind of footprint, right, for a heatsink. Now. This is when you're doing 12 volt heaters, right? You need that bridge rectifier, that inline rectifier. You need one of the smoothing caps here and you need 12 volt regulator and the big heat sink, all right? And then you can do DC heaters in your preamp. Now, um, just using an available tap on this power transformer, it's got a five volt secondary on it, which was set up to power a tube rectifier all right, so what we do, and again, this is all in the documentation, right, in the um, documentation folder, which you get access to when you purchase one of these. Um, I've got a little diode trick here that sets up a voltage doubler for the low voltage DC, right? So that 5 volt AC line is configured here in a voltage doubler arrangement with that smoothing cap. And what we end up with is... A, um, I'll measure it here on the side of the rectifier, uh, the regulator, I should say. You've got a 13 volt DC line, right? Which is awesome. Plenty, right? So from a five volt AC secondary, I can get a 13 volt DC. Now, you might be thinking, ah, oh, you could do 12 volt heaters with that. Well, you can't because nothing comes for free, right? When you set up a voltage doubler like this, you reduce the current capacity by half all right so believe me i've tried it right you could maybe get one preamp tube going on 12 volts before um, you just won't be able to get enough current out of the arrangement so look for simplicity and it works perfectly right this is now a five volt regulator um, and you can see there i'm right on five um, i'll put the light on there hopefully come through a bit clearer there we go and that's simply set up, right, for that 5-volt relay. And uh, the customer, uh, this is Kevin Zamp, which I built for him. He's another local guy here in Melbourne, Australia. We've got the, um, probably can't see it in the video, maybe you can, but over here I've got uh, another relay, right? This is the clean channel mod uh, of the Kelly that uh, that we do, and you can do as well And you if you're doing a DIY build. So simple, just a one double pole double throw relay that allows for a simple clean channel to be added. So we have our clean, our two gains, our two master volumes, the tone stack presence, right? The depth is here on the rear of the amp. And rather than variable negative feedback, we now have a three-way here switch, which controls, you know, three settings on the negative Feedback line. Okay, so we've covered the diode arrangement for the rectifier. We've covered the voltage doubler arrangement for the five volt regulator. The last thing I want to talk to you about, which is probably the most important thing, is getting your voltages right. Now, what you could do, right, if you're doing a 6v6 build like this, you run these at lower voltages, right? So you can see, here's my plate voltage. Let me put this back up here. I'll turn the light on. Um, here is the B plus, all right? It's 405 volts. Now, if I actually go right to the pin, pin three, you see there, right? 404, okay? Um, screen pin, just, you know, what you'd expect, right? One or two volts lower. Um, now, 
with a lower voltage like this, normally when we build this Kelly amp in 50 watt mode with the power transformer that we normally use, your plate voltage is right up at like, you know, 490, right? So you probably already know this, right? But I just thought it was a good opportunity to, to show this. What you've got to do with a lower plate voltage like this is you just reduce the amount of dropping resistors that are here so that the voltages through the preamp will still be the same as if as they are um, with a higher plate voltage right so normally when we build this Kelly we pretty we put um, two 10k droppers in here I think I need to check the documentation right but a 10k and a 5k or maybe two tens but I know that the um, uh, the phase inverter node which is this guy here is about 360 when I normally build the SAM, okay? Um, and you can see I've got 360 here. So all I've done, really simply, the first dropper I've just, you know, bridged across right with a um, bit of bus wire. And this is a 5.1K 2 watt resistor. And you can see 404, we're getting a decent voltage drop across that. And that is now our phase inverter um, supply node. Okay, the phase inverter supply node also powers our zero loss effects loop. There it is there. And on the other side of this 36K, I've got 308, which is fine. You know, I aim for 300 here, but, you know, 300 plus or minus 10 volts. Perfectly cool. Um, moving along, here's the next dropper so now we just get back to business as usual right a 10k 2 watt dropper here and a 10k 2 watt dropper here so uh, let me try and get a reading on this 315 so there's our 360 right that is the phase inverter and then on the other side of that 10k we're down to 315 so that's the supply node for v2 and here's the final 10k here 315 again and on the other side of that so this is the node for um v1 right 303 and if i go all the way i always check the plate voltage on pin 1a which is this guy here 152 okay so i check my build video the kelly build tutorial video um, where we're building that in 50 watt mode with the uh, plate voltage at you know close to 490 and I've got a voltage of 160 in that amp All right so 152 it's fine you're only a few volts out right absolutely fine so yeah just thought I'd you know outline that right that arrangement the voltage doubler to use your 5 volt AC wind which is you'll find on a lot of PTs to give you the option of a tube rectifier um, and setting up your droppers right so this is these droppers here just to as a reminder um, come after the screen supply node right so we have plate supply here B plus 2 is after the choke okay and that is the node that's you can see this yellow wire here that's the supply node that's going to both of these screen resistors 470 ohms 5 watt resistors right so 470 ohms with 6v6 tubes um, and you know straight straight from that supply node we come down here we've got option of two uh, b plus droppers here and i'm only using one as i mentioned the other thing that i will actually point out because we're not doing dc heaters in this amp i'm using as i always do See this EV HTR elevated heaters, right? So it's AC heaters all the way through. And you can see I just do straight lines. This whole twisted twisting your AC wires is um uh, in my view not necessary um, as long as you uh, do it um, do it well. And if you elevate your AC with a DC voltage, you can see we've got 52 here. A little bit lower 
than what we would normally have, right? Because this is a voltage divider set up here on 490. So just thinking about that now, I might actually change one of these resistors to get this up to 60 volts. But, you know, you're in the ballpark there, right? Um, and that DC voltage, of course, is measurable across all the heater pins. We can hold steady. There it is there. Okay. Right. We're in final testing with this thing. Um, while it was out on the bench, just want to go through those things and we'll give this a quick run uh, in the rack. See that it's behaving itself and it's sounding like it should.